Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we are going to be taking a look at how you can get the Bubba Shop units and Extremes Awaken them and Doka Awaken them all in the Towards the Extreme Realm campaign but just in general how you can do the whole shebang. So basically for those who don't know there are units that are available from the Bubba Shop uh, and there are five of them. They're each type units and they're going to become type based support units But now they've added in the ability to do can awaken them and to EZA them Which is pretty cool uh, for a long time. These units were kind of not Useful and by making them type supports they do have some usability now, which I think is really really cool uh, They all very very similar in build like incredibly similar in build which is okay it's not really about them being diverse or distinct. Uh, they have the slight differences, but realistically, it's mainly about them being able to function on some teams, provide some support, be usable options, especially for players who are looking to you know, help out with things like Ultimate Clash or Virtual Dokkan. These guys will help out with that. Uh, they kind of assist with mono-based teams, which is really cool. Uh, new king based teams all those sort of things they do really really help out so yeah uh, obviously there's five of them pretty cool stuff nothing too crazy one of each type very simple you can get them from the bubba shop so if you go to the bubba shop you can buy them for 20,000 bubba points you do not need to buy a ton of them uh, a lot of these guys have farmable essays uh, only as far as I know Deborah and Master Roshi full power don't have farmable essays at this point in time the rest all have easily farmable essays so you don't need to buy like 15 copies of each unit you only need to buy the five copies basically that you need to fully do I can awaken the unit's hidden potential so it should be pretty straightforward it won't cost you too much obviously if you buy enough copies to save on SA farming then yes uh, it is going to cost you quite a bit it's just one of those things I don't suggest using Kai's for these guys they're not worth using Kai's for rather use your bubble points these are supposed to be a bubble point and zeni sync people need to understand it's a way for them to try and balance out how many bubble points we have and how much zeni we have by creating some sinks from time to time as you can see they're available in the shop when you see them there you can buy as many copies as you want like i said i suggest only buying the original copy and the four copies needed for hidden potential of all of them except for Deborah and master roshi as those two don't have farmable well easily farmable essays i should say so do that buy the units grab as many as you can as you can see if you buy the necessary 14 copies to max out the unit you're going to be very short of bubble points which is fine maybe you want to do that that's okay i personally always like to have a stash of bubble points uh, they are useful for getting items during your know, anniversaries when the bubble shop sales are up etc obviously some people might have more than me some people might have less so i'm trying to show you guys what to do from there then before you can EZA them, you're going to have to Dokkan Awaken them. Dokkan Awakening them is probably the most admin part of this. The only way to get Ghost Usher medals is to buy them with Zeni. It is the only way to get Ghost Usher medals. So there's no other way to get a Ghost Usher medal. You can't farm them, you can't do anything. To get them, the only way is to constantly open up the bubble shop, go to the Zeni section, and then try and buy them. That is literally all you can do. It refreshes every couple of hours. Sometimes there'll be one, two, three, or four up. I wish they would boost the rate, so just let you buy as many as you need. Uh, but that's unfortunately the hardest part of this. So that's it, pretty much. Once you've got the Ghost Usher medals, you can doke and awaken the units. It's pretty straightforward from there and then you work on the EZA process uh, so the EZA process uh, is pretty stock standard it's actually very easy if you're wondering how to farm their essays you can look in the portal of memories for events that drop units of a similar name 
Uh, or what you can do is you can wait for those events to pop up if you don't have memory keys. It's not a process that needs to be done straight away, but it is a process that's obviously super helpful. So in terms of easy A's, getting their medals is actually incredibly easy. All you have to do is use them in a team and complete stages 15 times. It's actually super duper duper easy. Uh, if you go to the mission section, uh, you'll actually find a set of missions underneath the King Ta Kai tab uh, that covers these units. So if you go to the King Kai tab, uh, you'll find a new set of missions has been added in. And these are pretty straightforward missions. Uh, really, really simple. All you have to do is include the unit on your team and complete 15 stages. And you can complete any 15 stages. Uh, you can complete uh, your know, punching bag stages. You can complete uh, Dokkan speed rush stages. You can complete literally any stage. Uh, and if you include all these units on one team, to complete the punching bag stages you have basically done like the whole thing and there's no risk of you dying or anything which is pretty pretty straightforward um yeah it's very 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 simple only the world tournament and the virtual dokkan ultimate clash don't count which is fairly straightforward and you get some kai's as well from this i think you get three uh, grand elder kai's which is nice uh which is pretty good but yeah that's it from me hope it helps see you next time bye